describes the process for removing water from gas in order to meet export pipeline specifications. The amount dehydration of water to be removed is also determined by the sales specification of the contract. Most natural gas produced from a well is saturated with water. Therefore, if the gas stream is cooled, water will condense out and be deposited as a liquid. Water must be removed from the gas before it enters a pipeline for two reasons. It may cause corrosion in the line. It may cause hydrates to form, which would restrict or block the flow of gas in the pipeline. The amount of water that must be removed from the gas depends primarily on the lowest temperature to which the gas will be exposed both in the pipeline or processing plant. In the North Sea, the water content of export pipeline gas is reduced so that no condensation will occur if the gas should cool to 10C15F. In colder climates, for example, the water content must be lowered further so that no condensation will occur at the lowest temperatures likely to be encountered. Two methods of reducing the water content of the gas are commonly used. One absorption with liquid desiccants such as glycol or methanol. Two adsorption with solid desiccants such as alumina, silica gel, calcium chloride or molecular sieve. Method 1 is the most commonly used and is described in detail in this section. Method 2 is less commonly used but described briefly. The two principal dehydration processes occur by absorption or adsorption mechanisms and it is important that a differentiation should be made. Absorption. A liquid desiccant such as glycol is hygroscopic. This means that the glycol, if at the same temperature as the process gas, has a greater affinity for water than the gas. The glycol is contacted with the gas stream counter current to the gas flow. This ensures that the driest 99. 9 pure glycol contacts with the driest gas, maintaining a more constant hygroscopic differential across the contact area. Absorption dehydration is used extensively to remove water vapor from a gas stream. There are many fluids which can be used to absorb water, the most common being the glycols, monoethylene glycol meg, diethylene glycol deg, and teg. Triethylene glycol is normally used as it can withstand higher temperatures in the regeneration process and hence attain higher purity before degrading. Adsorption Adsorption describes any process wherein molecules from a gas are held on the surface of a solid by surface forces. The exact mechanism of adsorption is difficult to define. One theory is that adsorption occurs due to liquefaction of a component in the vapor phase, and its retention by capillary action in the exceedingly fine pores of an adsorbing solid. Another theory advanced is that adsorption is due to chemical combination of a component in the vapor phase with the free balance of atoms on the surface of the solid. A combination of both phenomena is most likely. Please like and subscribe.